God bless you, Tidy and Monks. Um, yeah, this is, I just believe, a song of God right now. And um, this morning, the Lord reminded me as we are approaching today is what May the 28th. And he had made some promises to me, um, some declarations to me concerning the month of May. And May ain't over yet. I know that's not good Ebonics, but it sounds good to my Shondo this morning. May ain't over yet. And so some of you have not experienced the move of God as of yet this morning in your life, but it ain't over until God says it's over and I want to speak that unto you because some of you have felt like quitting some of you have felt like you were tired but it ain't over and it's not time to quit now God bless you Lady Latila much love to you and so I want to release that over you this morning he made me a promise he said that this would be the month that mountains would be moved this would be the month that he would move mountains and that you would also move mountains that you would have power power behind your words that you would be able to speak to a thing and tell it to move from here to there and it would have to obey at the sound of your voice at your command in the name of Jesus but some of you have failed to realize the power that is behind your own words he spoke to me and said that May would be a month of momentum that things would begin and set Sometimes when you are attempting to establish a momentum, it, it takes some, uh, um, it, it takes a gearing up and sometimes it exerts a lot of effort to begin with your momentum, but it's worth it. Let me tell you, this would be a month of miracles and some of you have felt the movement of May, but you haven't felt the momentum quite yet. You felt the movement, things have been moving, things have been shaking up and you felt like they were about to fall apart but God had said that they were all falling together and so as he reminded me of that, I, I wanted to remind you of that upon this morning. I, I made sure that everything was ready and set to go. Interestingly enough, um, I, we faced difficulty uh, on, on the internet. It didn't want to connect. And then, you know, the, the phone, it started having issues with dropping. And then Periscope didn't want to connect for me this morning. Out of us, all of a sudden, Periscope don't want to connect and don't want to start. I'm having to turn my phone off and start over. Some of you have felt like, but there's a relentless. Anybody in the room feel relentless? Like you got a ferociousness on the inside of you. Like there is a tenacity and a tenacity that's on the inside of you. Like, like you are fiercely ferocious about this thing. Like I ain't got no stopping in me. I can't stop stop. I won't stop. I refuse to quit. I don't quit. Like that's just the way that I roll. Like that's just the way that I rock. So what if the goal didn't happen by now? We don't change the goal. We move the date. And I'm still in expectation because I know that the God that I serve don't lie. Neither does he make mistakes and he's not the son of man. He doesn't repent. God don't back up. And so if there's nothing wrong with my God, then I am yet in expectation of what he told me and what he said. There's some things and it may not look like what you expected it to look like, but I refuse to quit. So I know based on the fact of what he spoke to me about one o'clock this morning like literally I'm in my Bible and I'm studying because I heard the Lord say that the tables were turning did you hear me what I said I heard the Lord speak to me very clearly and he said the tables were turning and so I began to study my word because I wanted to know exactly where he wanted me to get this word coming from and you know there's different texts of scripture. I didn't want to just assume. I don't want to put my own spin on it because God is not obligated necessarily to fulfill what I say, but he's obligated to his word. And, and you know, uh, with, there's power in your tongue. Yes, life and death is in the power of the tongue, but I'm talking about the prophetic manifestation that's behind what God said when he said what he said. And I know without a shadow of a doubt that I heard the Lord 
Lord say that the tables were turning. And I said, oh, okay, God, the tables are turning. And so I'm studying to the point where I fall asleep sitting up straight because I want to hear what thus saith the Lord. So I'm ready to go because somebody needed to hear this word this morning. You needed to feel like you needed to know in your spirit that the tables are turning. You feel like all hell seems to be breaking loose, but I come to speak to you this morning that the tables are turning. Yes, you may face a little bit of difficulty. Yes, there may be some things that you go through, but the tables are still turning. Yes, the internet might not have wanted to work this morning, but you know what? Yes, the tables are still turning. Yes, more ads may have come on, but you know what? You might have tried to delay a little bit of the time, but the tables are still turning. No Periscope didn't want to come on this morning, but the the tables are still turning. We're still on, aren't we? I might have had to turn some things off, turn some things back on, but the tables are still turning. Yes, we might have went live on Facebook and they're talking about a, a, a connection not available. Do you want to record? We can't go live. But the tables are still turning. You know what? And because of the tenaciousness, because of your tenacity, because of the ferociousness, because of your ferocity, because of your can't stop, won't stop, won't give in. I don't know. What, what is that? I don't know what that is. I'm not trying to even figure it out. Guess what? It sure enough came and said connection is now available. Can I speak that over your life today in the name of Jesus? That some things in your life were not seeming to work. They weren't seeming to happen. They weren't seeming to be working out. But the connection is coming available. The connection between you and your God. Because you refuse to quit. Because you stay locked up. You stay locked in. You stay locked into God. You stay locked into His program. You stay locked into His connection. Hallelujah. And it's available to you this morning. This word is available to you this morning. That the tables are turning. And so I'm going to release this over you this morning. Hallelujah. Because there's nothing like a prophetic word of God. When I hear God speak, you know, and we call it a, a, a Nabi prophet where you hear the Lord and he speaks to you where you can hear him. And and so I always want to ask him where that stems from, from the word of God. Because as you hear from the Lord, you know, and, and I'm honoring God for his rhema, right? Where he speaks to you. I honor God for the Zoe, the life, the breath, the breathing word of God, the living breath of God, and the living word of God. But it should also stem from the logos of God, from the written word of God. And so he let me, this is a familiar chapter to many of you. I kept seeing the number 1222, 1222. And so, you know, I was first, I was trying to study, okay, where's 1222 coming from? What are you trying to tell me in that? But that's not the word for today. Matthew 21 verse number 12 begins to talk about this same account, but he wanted me to read this one coming from John chapter number two. I wish I had the time to relate to you a about Jesus and the marriage of Cana and the six water pots and how they were empty and how when they were empty they used that those water pots it was used for the cleansing before they went into the temple but the the cleansing the water that was used supposed to be used for the cleansing before they went into the temple it was empty and what was the, the, the when you looked at the water pots they were made of stone some of you have gone through so long and so long to where you feel like your heart is a heart of stone. No longer do you feel like your heart is a heart of flesh. You are like, I'm so over it. Some of you feel numb. You can't feel anything anymore. You're like so over it. And there is a cleansing. Hallelujah. But God, just like he was able to turn that water into wine, there's some other things that he is ready to turn over in your life. I decree and declare in the name of Jesus. And so wish I have more time to deal with that, but I'm going to talk to you this morning from John chapter number two, starting at verse number 13. I'm in the message translation of the Bible, the ghetto version of the Bible, I like to call it. 
And it says, when this Passover feast celebrated each spring by the Jews, and we're coming out of the spring, we just got through celebrating Passover, right? When it celebrated each spring by the Jews was about to take place, Jesus traveled up to Jerusalem. He went to the hometown. He went to the spot where it was all popping off. Some of you feel like all kind of stuff is popping off in your life, right? It said he found the temple teeming with people selling cattle and sheep and doves. The loan sharks were also there and they were in full strength. And you feel like you've been doing your thing. You've been doing what you're supposed to do. You've been where you need to be. And it feel like everybody else doing their thing. They're doing the wrong thing. And it seems as though they are prospering. And it said that loan sharks were also there and they were in full strength. They were in full effect. Jesus put together a whip of strips of leather and he chased him out of the temple stampeding the sheep and the cattle appending the tables of the loan sharks now here now here you might be referring to the temple but this is dual fold we're not just talking about the temple hallelujah how many of you know that you are the temple of the most high God and there have been some things that have been inside your heart but I want to release this over you this morning in the name of Jesus that because the Lord your God he is coming to turn up some tables in your own heart and in your own life and in you as the temple of being the almighty God because as he turns over the temples that's been placed up in your own heart the way that you've been seeing things you're getting ready to see some things turn around in your own life I decree and declare in the name of Jesus it said he was spilling coins left and right he told the dove merchant, get your things out of here. Stop turning my father's house into a shopping mall. And many have made it about, you know, what you have to eat and drink and what you have to have on. And when that's when his disciples remembered the scripture, zeal for your house consumes me. Uh, zeal for your house consumes the Lord. Zeal for his house. Zeal for his temple. Who is his temple? His temple is you. I'm not here to talk about a zeal uh, for a, a building this morning. I'm talking about the zeal of the Lord for you as his people, as his temple in the name of Jesus. And Jesus this morning is serious about you. He's serious about his temple that is on the inside of you. And he says, I'm turning up the tables. I'm turning the tables over in your life and for you in Jesus mighty name. And he says, not not only, and we're going to get to this one day soon, the Lord is going to cause me to release this message because there is a shifting of the guards that is coming. It is coming to the kingdom. It is coming to the body of Christ. It is coming to churches. We know it because God is not pleased, but we're not dealing with that today. Much of it is, is going to start in the house of the Lord, in the people of the Lord, in the temple of the Lord, because those are who he is going to be using and he says the Bible says in verse 18 but the Jews were upset they asked what credentials can you present to justify this and Jesus answered tear down this temple and in three days I'll put it back together let me tell you boo it is May the 28th and it ain't over until it's over how many more days left we got till before June we got three days left I promise you I don't plan this I promise you I don't script this this is made and is authorized and ordained by Almighty God. This is an hour. This is a, a time where you can expect anything and you can expect everything. This is a time where God has no limitations in the name of Jesus and he is willing and he is ready to turn up any and everything that is necessary. If you're ready to go hard for him, God is ready to go hard for you. And I'm not taking no prisoners. I'm not taking Taking no limitations in the name of Jesus. I'm come back ready, tenacious, fierce, and ferocious for the fire of God to be happening. Not only in my life, but in the lives of his people in Jesus' name. 
And he tells them, what credentials can you present to justify this? They don't even realize that they talking about the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. And there are been people and they're like, who do you think you are? What you think you talking about? What do you have to say? Don't you know the God that I serve? You may not know who I am, but God knows who I am. You may not remember what my name is, but heaven knows my name. Matter of fact, and you may not know my name, but when my feet hit the floor, I bet you you know what the enemy knows my name in Jesus' mighty name. The storm looked at me yesterday, and I said, I'm not afraid of you, storm. I am the storm. Anybody came to raise hell against hell this morning in the name of Jesus. You tired. You've been backed up against the wall. Yeah, but it's time for you to come out fighting in the name of Jesus. Ain't no more weary, ain't no more worry on the inside of you. It's time for you to wipe your sweat off of your brow, wipe the tears off of your eyes, and come out swinging and decreeing and declaring the power of Almighty God in the name of Jesus. Not because you all that, but you know the God that you serve that is living on the inside of you. Do you not know that you are the temple of Almighty God, that He lives? lives in you, that he dwells in you, that the breath of God resides on the inside of you. You ain't been fasting for nothing. You ain't been consecrating for nothing. You are a child of the living God. And that means that you have access and I have divine access in Jesus mighty name. The devil can't do nothing unless the Lord allows him to do it. So don't get it twisted devil. As Jesus lay was there a upon that cross he could have called on millions of angels at his aid and there are things that you might be going through right now but listen honey there is nothing there is nothing outside of the grace of God that he is allowing to go through in your life for a purpose that's further beyond than you then maybe you understand and so when I sit in surrender I sit in surrender to almighty God as a living sacrifice holy and accepted acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable service. So dry your face, baby. I want to encourage somebody this morning that your go through is working for you. Can I say that again? Your go through is working for you. God has been turning over the tables on the inside of your heart so that when he turned the tables over in your life, hallelujah, you're not going to be turned around. It's not going to turn you around from the God that you serve. And so what is he says? He says, who do you are? What credentials do you got to justify this? They may not feel like you're qualified. Hallelujah. But my Bible says in Romans chapter number 28, after we talk about all things working together for the good of them that love God and who are the called according to his purpose, you know, my Bible tells me that whom God calls, he justifies and Hallelujah. He qualifies and God has been going through a justification process for you. God has been qualifying you. God has been making you ready. He has been strengthening your stakes and he has been lengthening your cords and you're being glorified for him in the name of Jesus because the sons and and daughters of God, the whole creation world itself is waiting on the manifestation of you according to the power of the living God in Jesus mighty name so Jesus answered and said tear down this temple and in three days I'll put it back together so they were indignant and they told him they said it took 46 years to build this temple and some of you feel like I've been living for 46 years lady Jeremiah I've been going through this for 26 years lady Jeremiah I've been going through this for that out of however long you want to call it and you're going to rebuild it in three days what you mean and so your doubt I need you to release it right now in the name of Jesus don't tell me what God cannot do they didn't believe that Nebuchadnezzar despite all of uh, all of the opposition I'm sorry not Nebuchadnezzar Nehemiah despite the opposition despite everything he was going through guess what they sure did they built that wall within 52 days 
Don't tell me about the spirit of acceleration. Uh, hallelujah. That God is able to do and he's ready to do that. He's ready to hit your life for those who are ready and those who are willing. I don't care how long it seems. I don't care how long you've been separated for your husband. I don't care how long it seemed like that marriage has been in despair. I don't care how long you've been broke, busted, and disgusted. I don't care how long you've been depressed. I don't care how long it feels like you've not have what you needed. God is able to turn it on a dime. And God says this morning, if you allow me to turn the tables in your heart, I will turn the tables in your life in the name of Jesus. He said in three days, I'll put it back together. And they said, don't you know how long it took to build this? And you're going to rebuild it in three days. But Jesus was talking about his body. Who is his body? Are you his body? I need you to rise up and say, I am the body. I am the body of God. I am the bride of Christ in Jesus mighty name. Know who you are and know whose you are. And as his temple later after he was raised from his dead, the disciples remember what he said. Some of you have waited until after Jesus then died and got up. Some of you seem to forget what Jesus said, but God sent me here this morning to remind you of what the word of the Lord says. And it said, how Hallelujah. That after he was raised, his disciples remembered he had said this. Then they put two and two together. Listen, boo, I need you to put the two and two together. And they believe both what was written in scripture and what Jesus has said. I need you to believe what was written in scripture. I'm telling it to you right now. Go to John chapter number two if you need to read it for yourself. Hallelujah. And I need you to also remember the words that Jesus has said. And it said during that time during the time he was in Jerusalem those days of the Passover feast many people noticed the signs he was displaying and seeing and they pointed straight to God they saw the signs and they were pointing straight to the Lord and they entrusted their lives to him but Jesus didn't entrust his life to them they might have and there are people in your life and they done started trying to put their trust in you I need you to realize that just because people put their trust in you don't mean you put your trust in people let me say that to you again it said many people saw the signs the miracles and the wonders and they started to believe oh this must be the Jesus but your bible my bible said but Jesus didn't entrust his life to them he and knew them inside and out and he knew how untrustworthy they were now I'm not going to be skeptical about everybody but I do release a spirit of discernment in the name of Jesus over your life in Jesus mighty name the spirit not just to discern things but the discerning of spirits in Jesus mighty name so you will know who is in your company so you will know who is with you and who ain't with you so you will know who is for you and who's not for you so that who you will know who's for you but who's too too ignorant of the devices of what's going on who has some susceptibility in Jesus mighty name they don't mean you no wrong but they also don't have the ability to mean you any good it said the bible says he didn't need any help in seeing right through them and I speak that over you this morning in the name of Jesus that you don't need any more help seeing right through the things that is going on in your life. Hallelujah. Because God this morning is turning the tables on the inside of your heart so that he can turn the tables on the on, on your life and in your life in Jesus name. And it's not going to take him many days hence. If he can turn the tables that are inside of your heart, he will cause the tables to turn in your belief and your hope and in your trust in him. And as you see him exchange the tables in your heart and in your hope and in your belief in him you're getting ready to see the tables turn in your life in the name of Jesus and I'm just wondering if I got anybody with me who says Lady Jeremiah I got that fierceness I got that ferociousness I'm ready I'm ready I'm down for the cause in Jesus mighty name I'm ready to see God do some amazing things I'm ready to put my foot to the plow listen let me see it hallelujah if I gotta burn it up in the name of Jesus I'm ready to burn up everything behind me because 
I'm ready. I'm ready to go. I'm going all in. All or nothing. I'm going all or in. I'm going all or nothing. Listen, the prophet Elisha, when Elijah was passing by, he threw Elisha his mantle and he knew that the prophet wasn't coming again. He said, hold up, man of God. He ain't, I, I can't say he had ever met him before. I can't say he had ever seen him before. But when he knew who he was, he identified something in him. And some of you, y'all don't know me from a can of paint, but you feel something in your shondo. You felt something in your spirit that said, you know what? There's something right about what she got because it's the almighty power of the living God on the inside. In Jesus' mighty name, you might not know me. You may not know where I come from, but you feel the spirit of your father speaking to you this morning. And what did he do? He said, hold up, prophet. Give me just a minute. Let me kiss my parents, baby. Bye-bye, baby. Bye-bye. Singing bye-bye-bye. Listen, hallelujah. It's time for you to say bye-bye. Bye to your troubles. Bye-bye to your fear. Bye-bye to your disappointment. Bye-bye to that upset. Bye-bye to your pity parties. Bye-bye to that disappointment. Bye-bye to that depression. The devil is a liar. I'm coming for all of that this morning in the name of Jesus. And he said he had been talking about working his parents' family business. And some of you, you live in somebody else's dream. It ain't even your own. That's why you can't find no peace. That's why you can't find no joy. That's why you can't find no happiness because you've been living everybody else's life. You've been trying to live for your kids. You've been trying to live for everything else. And God is saying, if you would dare try to live for me, I will show you some things. I will do some things in your life that you have never seen before. And what did he do? He said, not only am I done working this business, but I'm burning up all this equipment because I know I ain't coming back. I know I ain't coming back to this. And some of you have to understand this morning and get to the place where you say, I'm not coming back to this. Bye bye. I'm not coming back to this. I don't need no more than pain pills. I don't need no more Vicodin. I don't need no more Oxycodone. I don't need no more vodka trying to put me to sleep. I don't need no more marijuana trying to ease my pain. I don't need no more sexing me up and sexing me down. I don't need no more. I ain't playing no games. This one, I'm playing for keeps. I'm all in, God. You got me. I'm all in, Father. I ain't playing. I'm getting rid of the black book. I'm getting rid of everything else. I'm not looking at no more porn. Whatever that thing is, I'm done with it. I'm all in, God. You got me. I'm burning it up because he said I'm not coming back. I don't know where I'm going, but I ain't going back where I came from. Because one thing I do know is what I was trying wasn't working for me. So something else got to work for me. And the man of God, it said that he burned up all of the equipment. He had a feast and a dinner with his family and he kissed him goodbye. Not knowing where he was going. Not knowing this prophet. Not knowing where he was going to take him. But he took him on a journey. And he followed him for the rest of his days. And he saw him when he went up and he said, one thing I ask of you is with a hallelujah. What do you want from me? He said, so I can do twice the miracles you did. And he said, if you see me go up, you're going to be able to do that. I need you to be able to follow God so closely in the name of Jesus that you can see and you can do more than you've even seen the Lord your God do. He said that I called you to do more than me. I called you to and you you can't even rebuke a headache. The devil is a liar. God said, Jesus said, even greater works than these shall ye do. Even greater works than she, these shall ye do. So why am I not seeing the works of God may manifest in my life? God, what do I need to do to be closer to you? He said, let me turn the tables over in your heart so that I can turn the tables over in your life. Are you ready to let God do what he want to do with your life? Yes, it might be scary. Yes, it may be unfamiliar. Yes, you have to 
release control. Yes, you need to release all control to him. But you're going to get ready to see some things that you have never seen before in your life when you give him a complete unadulterated yes in the name of Jesus. I dare you. I dare you. I dare you to let God turn the tables in your heart and watch him turn the tables in your life. And if that's you, I need you to say, Father, turn the tables in my heart. Father, turn the tables in my heart. Hallelujah. No longer am I going to be swindling. No longer are the tables in my heart going to be about what I can make happen. No longer are the tables in my heart and my temple on the inside of me going to be about clocking and punching into this job instead of clocking in every morning, punching into purpose, asking you, what can I do? Hallelujah. To advance the kingdom of God. That's where I'm at. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's where I'm at today. This Tuesday, May the 28th, 2019. I'm ready to see my life change. I'm ready to see my life change forever. I'm ready to see God do a new thing. Hallelujah. And it shall spring forth and it shall spring forth suddenly. It shall spring forth expediently in the name of Jesus. Father, I'm ready for you to do it. I'm ready for you to accelerate it. I'm ready for you to advance me. I'm ready to do your thing. Hallelujah. Do your thing. Do your thing. Hallelujah. Any way you bless me. Anywhere you want to take me. Anywhere you want to move me. God, I'm ready for the great exploit. See, you came ready to say, God, I'm ready for the great exploits. And you won't leave your corner. You won't leave your front door. The devil is a liar. Father, I thank you this morning in the name of Jesus. Oh, God, for the boldness that is coming to your body of Christ right now in the name of Jesus. Father, I thank you this morning. Hallelujah. For, for what you're inciting and igniting on the inside of your people. That they shall never ever be the same in Jesus mighty name. Father, I thank you for the fire of God. That is getting ready to hit your people like never before. In the name of Jesus, Father. That they are getting ready to be fierce and ferocious. Lord God, and not for nothing. But they are getting ready to see signs and miracles and wonders and great deliverance and they are getting ready to have evidence oh God behind what they've been speaking about in the name of Jesus that people are getting ready to see the power and the mighty working power of almighty God in their lives in Jesus name that they will not be lazy Christians oh God but they will call upon the name of the Lord and every enemy will be scattered in the name of Jesus Lord God that they will do great exploits for the kingdom of God that they will not take no for an answer that they will pray until they see heaven move until they see earthquakes oh God that there is power that will work on the inside of them that they will speak to hurricanes and tell them you can't hit this district you can't hit this side of the country you have to go back where you come from where they will speak to tsunamis and they will say you can't come nigh this dwelling that the fear of the Lord is the only fear that they will operate in they will not be fearful of gang members they will not be fearful and they will come against every spirit that will try to come in their children's school and say no not this school they will come against every 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 agenda that the enemy is trying to send against our children and will say not this one no more in the name of Jesus they will stand for holiness and they will stand for you God in the name of Jesus that their ears will be open that their eyes will be open and they will be watchmen on the wall and that they will hear from almighty God and they will say what God says in Jesus mighty name Lord God that they will occupy their spot in the kingdom oh God and you will do great wonders on the inside of them in the name of Jesus and father I thank you that at the right junctures oh God that they will connect with those that you have them to connect with in Jesus name that the kingdom partnership and kingdom connections shall be so in the name of Jesus Father I thank you that you are raising up a new breed of believer a new breed of believer in the name of Jesus a new breed of Christian a new believer 
Sabasha in Jesus' mighty name. They are ones that people will not be able to explain. And they'll be like, is she this? Is he that? We can't put no definition on them. Oh God, they will not be inside. They will not fit inside of a box in the name of Jesus, oh God. They will display the fire of the living God. Oh Father, in the name of Jesus, they will speak to the winds and the waves and they must obey. And just as they said, who is this man that even the winds and the waves obey him? Oh God, the winds and obey. Uh, hallelujah. The winds and wa- waves will obey the words that are coming through the people of God in Jesus' mighty name because your power is flowing through them in the name of Jesus. Father God, oh God, that men and women and children will have to fall to their knees. Oh God, at the power of the living God that is on the inside of them. Lord God, and they will surrender. They will surrender to the love, to the love of God that is at work and that is functioning through them in the name of Jesus, Lord, because we will work, we will operate, we will function out of the spirit of love because you are love and not hate in the name of Jesus, Father God, and that we will make our countries great again because we will make, hallelujah, your name great again. You said, draw nigh unto you. You said, if I be lifted up, I will draw all men unto myself. And so, Father, we lift you up. We lift your name high in the name of Jesus. We lift you wide as the sky and you will do the drawing. Father, I thank you that you will equip your people. Father, that they will disciple others, that they will pray with others, that they will be bold and very courageous in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. The word, hallelujah, fear not is written over 365 times in the Bible. Every day they will wake up and they will say, I will not fear. I will not be afraid. And they will move by the fierceness and the fire of God in Jesus' mighty name. And they will take ground for the kingdom of God in Jesus' mighty name. I speak against and I come against every spirit of worry, of doubt, of uncertainty, of insecurity, of being unsure right now in the name of Jesus. And I speak divine clarity, clarity in your mind, clarity in your decisions in the name of Jesus. Father, I thank you right now that your people will begin to hear from you. Lord God, I pray for those afresh, Lord God, that they would ask you, Lord God, to fill them afresh and with the power of the Holy Ghost that's on the inside of them, that they will begin to hear you, that they will hear your word, that they will be able to prophesy through the gift even of prophecy that flows through the spirit of the living God in Jesus mighty name that they can speak to a thing and it will be established and it will be so in the name of Jesus father God that they will flow through the word of knowledge and through the word of wisdom oh God through the discernment in Jesus mighty name that they will be able to express the working of healing and miracles in Jesus mighty name hallelujah because the gift of God is flowing through them hallelujah the Holy Spirit is flowing through them oh God and that they will run and they will see come see a man huh? come see a man they don't have to worry about feeling like they got to be justified and have these degrees behind their name but they got Jesus behind their name hallelujah and it's greater than any other name and so we proclaim the name of Jesus and we take this world for your name father I thank you for the divine promotions that you are setting your people up by the power of the living God where they should be where they need to be oh God so that they can take back the kingdom for the power of the living God for what needs to be done in the earth in the name of Jesus Father God I thank you that they will operate in the seven eight however many mountains they want to keep counting us that is occurring in the earth in the name of Jesus Father as you set your people up in arts as you set your people up in education in government and medication in, in the medical field and every field that there is God in families in communities oh God even in politics father God I thank you right now that you are setting up your people in schools you're setting up your people everywhere that you're setting up your people in business oh God hallelujah I come in no more business failures no more business failures 
stewards with the people of God. That they will be good stewards. That they will manage money well. That they will stop allowing fear to not cause them to do and handle their money right. That they will be sowers and they will be givers for the power of the living God. In Jesus mighty name. That they will operate in government. In finances. In, in banking. Hallelujah. And in business. In Jesus mighty name. That they will be workers in administration. Oh God. Hallelujah. You will give them the right help that they need. The resources that they need. The right partners that they need. The right relationships that they need. Oh God. That you will bless their marriages. Oh God. In the name of Jesus. Father God. You will cause their children. Oh God. To act right. Father. I thank you that you are sending prodigal sons home. Prodigal daughters home. In the name of Jesus. Delivered and set free. Oh God. You are still bigger than crack. You're bigger than cocaine. You're bigger than marijuana. You're bigger than vape. You're bigger than uh, all these opioids. You're bigger, oh God. Hallelujah. Than any drug that's on the marker, God. Oh God, you're bigger than anything. And so God, because we place our faith in you, Father God, I thank you. You finna turn it all around. You finna turn it all around. In the name of Jesus, the devil shall not have our children. The devil shall not have our grandchildren, our grandparents, our cousins, our brothers, our sisters. We claim our family. We claim our lineage. We claim our lineage. We claim our legacy. We claim our heritage for the power and the living God in the name of Jesus, Father. And we will not stand back. We will not stand back in the name of Jesus, but we call upon you and we thank you for the turnaround right now as we say yes and Amen. I come against every spirit of quit. Every spirit of give up. You won't quit. You won't back up. You won't back down. You won't back out. You won't give up in the name of Jesus. Somebody is getting ready to get a yes letter. Father, I thank you for the calls that are coming in. The emails that are coming in. The text messages are coming in. They seem like they're coming out of nowhere. But you've been dealing with men's heart but they've been operating from a spirit of fear oh god remove the fear from their heart right now in the name of jesus that they go after everything with everything that they got oh god that they go after everything that you have for them in the name of jesus because now is the time and the time is at hand Father, I thank you right now. Hallelujah. I decree and declare that it is so. I cover your people by the blood of the Lamb. Father, now is the time. Now is the time. Father, I thank you even for your daughter who's on the line. Prophet's mouth. Prophet Monica Rosebear. Oh God, I give you glory for her right now. In the name of Jesus, Father God, I thank you for the wisdom that you placed on the inside of her. I thank you for the role of God, the call of God that you have upon her life. In the name of Jesus, Father God, you've seen her service and those who are also on the line. You've seen them serving you. You've seen them serving you relentlessly, consistently, faithfully, oh God. They haven't asked for nothing. But now is the time, Father, that I believe, Father, that you are getting ready to release over them in the name of Jesus. Because God says, I've seen you. I've seen you. Father, I thank you for those that you put them on the hearts of others and you put others on their heart oh God and you've seen them pray faithfully for them as well and so Lord I speak the power of prayer hallelujah and the release of blessing upon her life right now in the name of Jesus for the secret thing the things that other leaders can't tell nobody else about but we hold it within our hearts oh God as we cover others and so Father I thank you that as she's covered others you cover her Father God and I release the blessing of the Lord upon her right now in the name of Jesus Father I decree and declare your release I decree and declare your blessing I decree and declare your breakthrough in the name of Jesus Father those who have been issuing and have been dealing with issues in their workplaces and on their jobs and warfare I come against every warfare that the enemy thought that he was going to cause to have a spirit of oppression come against the people of God that no longer shall they be oppressed 
oppressed under the hand of the enemy in the workplace that is causing them to operate out of a spirit of fear. The devil is a lie and he is a loser and he is a defeated foe already in the name of Jesus. And so back to what I was saying, Father, because I thank you as I speak that over your people. But Lord, I release a special blessing upon your woman servant right now in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Much love unto Prophet Monica. And I cover her with wisdom. I cover her with the wisdom of God that we don't release everyone's business to everybody. Oh God, but you know, you see in the secret place, oh God. And so Father, I speak the spirit of release. Many things she has prayed for many people, oh God, and things that have been desired of her own. Oh God, release it now in the name of Jesus. Father, may this be the year of release. Father, I thank you for divine apostolic anointing and a teaching anointing, Father. Oh God, that you will open up the realms of revelation to her like never before in the name of Jesus, that she would be able to release it over your people. Oh God, in the name of Jesus, Father, as you see her as a daughter and a handmaiden, oh God, of one that can be trusted, Father God. And as you release the spirit of revelation unto her, as you see her as your friend, as you count her as your friend, as you understand and you see how she would rather spend time with you than time with just anybody else wrapping it up and talking it up. Father, may we come to a place where we desire to be your friend, where we desire to spend time with you as our friend and you, hallelujah, as our friend in the name of Jesus. Father, may we count ourselves ones to be desired of you and to be desiring of spending time with you. May we time spend time getting off of the phone and going to the throne of Almighty God in Jesus' name. I'll speak the fire of the living God upon your people like never before in the name of Jesus, oh God. May the divine visitations hit your people like never before. Lord, I pray right now that you would stir your people late in the midnight hour. I come against that devil thinking that he's going to run through the night hours to the third and the fourth watches of the night. Father, cause your people to be like watchmen on the wall. Lord God, where we take our places, oh God, and we call upon the name of the Lord like never before. Hallelujah, like we used to do in the olden days where we walk the floor and we call on the power of the living God in the name of Jesus and we call it and claim it in our territories and on our region and our neighborhoods and in our blocks and in our societies and our cities and our states right now in the name of Jesus devil you can't have no hour of the day father I thank you that as you awaken us oh God that we are upon our posts like never before fierce fireful and ferocious for the kingdom of God effectual fervent prayers of the righteous availeth much and the word of the Lord says in John chapter 10 that from the time of John the Baptist till now the kingdom suffers violence and the violent take it by force may we take by force oh God everything that belongs to us we don't ask the devil for permission we take it because it belongs to us and so father I thank you as we claim everything that belongs to us by the power of the living God we are grateful and know we're not high on the horse father God we are honorable before you and at the same time father God we understand who we are as heirs and joint heirs of the kingdom of God and so as we fight we fight from victory not just for victory because we understand that the victory already belongs to us and so father we pray as we are grateful and we are thankful hallelujah and we come to you and even as Matthew chapter number 7 verse 7 oh God understanding hallelujah that if it's men if we can give good gifts to our children and we are wicked how much more would you do for us as your children and so father I thank you for the good things that you have in store for your people because you're turning over tables but you're starting with turning over the tables in the 
hearts of your men. Hallelujah. Because we are the temple of the almighty God. And our temple must be one that is pure, that is holy, that is dedicated unto you. And so, Father, cleanse our temple. Rid it of everything that is unlike you. If there be any ways that are unpleasing to you, oh God, rid it of our temples now in the name of Jesus. And as those things are rid out of our temple, Father, I thank you that we are getting ready to see Hallelujah. The tables turn in our lives and for our favor in Jesus mighty name. And I thank you that it shall happen quickly. It shall happen suddenly. It shall happen urgently. Hallelujah. If you dare to believe it, don't limit yourself. Don't limit yourself. Don't be like the doubters that said, don't you know how long it took to build this? Don't you know how long it took for me to get this bitter? Don't you know how, how long I've been going through this and that okay boo good keep going through it if you want to i want to trust and believe that i don't care how long you've been going through whatever you going through my god can bring about a wonderful change immediately and in three days he can change anything he can do it right now lord i release the suddenly over those who are dare enough to be bold enough to believe and the suddenly of almighty god to hit their life in jesus mighty name because it's time and so far Father, I release the wind of God over the people of God right now in the name of Jesus. The momentum of the power of the living God over them in the name of Jesus. The movement in May in the name of Jesus. The miracles of May in the name of Jesus. Not just because God want to give you a car and a house, but because there are things that are necessary for kingdom's sake that are due to happen this summer, that are due to happen this June, that are due to happen this September, that are due to happen before the end of this year that are due to happen in the year 2020 that are due to happen within the year between 2020 and 2025 that are due to happen for what's coming down the pipeline and may we be your people that are set in order and set in place so that we can be vessels of use and vessels of honor and not vessels unto dishonor in the name of Jesus and we give you glory for it right now in Jesus name we pray and we say amen and amen God bless you and much love to those of you who are on the call this morning God bless those of you who will listen to this on the playback in Jesus mighty name hallelujah God is ready to do a work if you're ready to avail yourself to him and I release this upon you this morning in Jesus name eyes have not seen nor ears heard the things which God has prepared for his people in the name of Jesus and there is there is there is a blessing I'm not saying that you won't go through any Thing, but I'm saying that there is a wisdom of God that will hit your life when you get in his word and you know his word and you can speak his word and you can declare his word hallelujah where by no nothing by no means can harm you where you are able to tread upon serpents and tread upon scorpions and they shall not harm you in Jesus mighty name how can the snake bite you you'll be like Peter and they'll be wondering who is this man that the snake can bite him and he does not fall down dead. Listen, you can be like those who were in the fiery furnace. You can't burn me. I am the fire. They better know who they fooling with. You know who you are. Not because you're great, but because your God is great. And you know that when you get in his word, Father, give your people a hunger and a thirst for your word. And I speak that over them now in the name of of Jesus. And I come against every spirit that will cause them to be weary in their reading. That's a rebellious spirit. I come against it right now in the name of Jesus. I come against everything that would cause them to desire not to read in their word, not to get in their word. And I decree and declare that you will begin to retain and remember that which you read in the name of Jesus and that the Holy Ghost that has appeared upon you and on the inside of you will bring that word back to your remembrance at the right time in Jesus mighty name that you will be able to win with the word, that you will be able to war with the 
word, that you will worship with the word in Jesus' mighty name, and that you will have victory by the word of the living God. It is your portion. It is your power. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray and say amen and amen. I know I've concluded this. I don't know how many times, but hallelujah, I just feel the fire of God upon this thing. The tables are turning. The tables are turning. Don't miss the tables are turning. Hallelujah. As the tables are turning on the inside of you, you are the temple of God and you are the temple of God. And if you will allow God to deconstruct whatever needs to be deconstructed, uproot whatever needs to be uprooted, you will see him rebuild on the inside of you what's necessary and it shall be. It is glorious for the glorious name of Jesus Christ. And you will see amazing things begin to take place by the power of living God. Hallelujah. The tables are turning. I decree and declare the tables are turning. I heard that in my spirit last night. The tables are turning. I don't know what you're going through. I don't know what you're experiencing. But as the tables turn on the inside of you, you'll see the tables turn in your life. In Jesus mighty name, God bless those of you who are listening in. Thank you for every heart, every super heart. Thank you to those of you, Lady Latila, Auntie Donna, Heavenly Do, God bless you, Prophet's Mouth, much love to you, woman of God, thank you for every super heart, to you, Preaching Prophetess, Willing Vessel, Nikki Dunamis, Lady Catherine, Dr. Abernathy, Dr. Tyra Hodge, those of you who have sown through Cash App and PayPal, may the blessings of the Lord overtake you all, in the mighty name of Jesus, hallelujah, listen, God has done some, some things on the inside of me, and the tables have turned, and so I'm not going back. There's some things that are getting ready to be released. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Because you're getting ready to see God do some amazing things. If you will dare to take heed. And if you will dare. God is looking to do some things. Kingdom things. Kingdom things. And that's what we'll be releasing. Hallelujah. We've been talking about it. It's been about the changing of the guards. You're getting ready to God see God do some things very, very quickly. And hallelujah. Many of you, you've been asking for the Lord to see your husband and you know all this this and that and 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 i believe that god is sending kingdom connections but you must be ready there's been some things that you have not received yet because there's been some work that needed to be done in you there are things that you have not received yet in your life overall that you have not seen yet because there's been some work that needed to be done on the inside of you but if you will allow god to turn those tables over in your life and do the work that's in your life you will be able to have those things turn in your life in Jesus mighty name God is he is desiring to bless and release those who are of good stewardship who are uh, obedient who are submitted to him in Jesus mighty name and so I speak that over you and so there will be a, a lot of prophetic releases a lot of prophetic training as well and um, you will hear that coming soon down the pipeline so coming soon and so you won't have time to think about some of the things you just need to obey God obey God and you need to know his voice so that you can obey and obey quickly Lord I speak right now to your people Father God that you would send wise counsel in their lives Father in Jesus mighty name and that they will be able to listen to the wise counsel that you send upon their lives and into their lives in the name of Jesus Father God that they're not questioning that they're not wondering but that they will know when it is you that is speaking in Jesus mighty name and that they will go for what you are saying father I thank you for divine confirmation that you will also allow to hit their life by the power of the living God I thank you that it is so and so it is hallelujah she said I'm feeling refreshed yeah it's done and it's done already in Jesus name have an incredible day I was looking to play this um hallelujah be blessed be blessed be blessed be blessed, be blessed, be blessed. Hallelujah. It's happening. The wind of God is blowing your way. Have a great day. God bless you, churchy girl. God bless you unto you, Dr. Abernathy. God bless you unto you, lovely Gigi, worshiper of God. God bless you unto you, Helena Green. God bless you, Lady Carolyn. God bless you, Lady Malisha. Those of you that I might have missed, God bless you, Lady Henrietta. We have prayer call was disconnected. Thank you so much for joining in. Hallelujah. God is faithful and he is still working. Thank God that we have other opportunities uh, to be able to connect with you. So have an amazing day and we'll join you soon. God bless you. Glory to God. <laughs>